Hello everyone and welcome to Lullaby Gardens. My name is Eros and I am so excited. Um, I am here with a new game um, and it is currently a demo version of this game and this is so exciting. I was lucky enough to be able to uh, play the demo version of this game um, from the developer. So thank you so much for allowing me to play your game. Um, and this game is so cute so far. Okay, so we're breaking some rocks right now. It looks like we have um, energy too. So we're gonna be testing out this game and seeing what we can do. Um, and oh, I'm so excited because this game is actually inspired by a lot of games that I love. Like it is inspired by Stardew Valley, by Rune Factory, Harvest Moon, and I think Animal Crossing. And those are all games that I love. Uh, I love like any type of animal game. I love farming games. And I am definitely interested to see what this game um, has to offer and all the different things that will happen um, throughout the development process. Because remember, this is only uh, a demo version of the game. I think it just went on Kickstarter. I think it just reached its goal, actually. Um, so it's not even, like, released on, like, Alpha or anything like that. It's still very, very uh, new. And we're here and we're playing it. And this is my character and she has a little bun bun backpack. Look at that. She has a little bunny on her backpack. Uh, so it does look like we have energy and I've been using it a little bit by picking up these weeds and breaking these stones. And oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a couple tools. Uh, looks like we have an axe, maybe a pickaxe, a uh, net, a watering can. Ooh, can we water anything? I don't think so. We don't probably don't have any water. Or maybe, or maybe we need crops to water. Oh my gosh, there's so many things to learn. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> and let's see, we have some stones. So the object of this game, um, I think there's there's tons of different things you can do. Um, from what I was reading on the Kickstarter page, is you um, are going to be able to build up your farm, which I assume this is kind of where we are now. Um, this is our farmland, and it looks like we are going to be able to have um, some apiaries and have some bees. Looks like we're going to be able to have this area over here to grow some of our crops. It's just really exciting. And I haven't really explored it before, so we're going to take some time and kind of explore what's going on. So this is a cute little building over here. Um, let's go in here. Enter our house. Oh my gosh, we have a little house. I wonder if we're going to be able to like customize our house eventually, like get furniture, or maybe like craft different types of furniture and like put paintings on the wall and like shelves and like put our little collectibles because you are able to go mining in this game and collect different types of ores and gems. Um, there is a combat system. We're going to be able to fight creatures and get epic loot. I don't know if anything like that is in the game so far, but eventually that is their goal. And it looks like we have a little, we have a little barn here. <gasps> we can have animals on our farm. Oh my goodness. I want to have all the animals. I need all the animals on my farm. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Uh, and then is this little chicken coop? <gasps> it is. We can have chickadoos. Little chickadoos. Um, but in addition to like combat and getting loot and building your farm, um, obviously you're going to be able to harvest crops, uh, raise different types of animals. Um, there is like a bachelor and bachelorette system in this game, similar to um, my Stardew Valley series where we're able to get married to one of the villagers. Um, you're going to be able to... Ooh, loading screen um but you're going to be able to marry one of the villagers here in lullaby gardens and oh, there's a horsey o m g there's animals look how cute they are so adorable can we have one can i can i have you will you be my friend is there gonna be like horse racing i don't know and looks like there's a villager here hello hi jenny um all right oh looks like we can talk to jenny i love these pictures look at this and yeah, keep in mind, this is just a demo of a game. This is not an alpha version. This is not the game. This is just, you know, a very early demo. So I'm sure a lot of things are going to change, but everything so far actually looks like really, really good. So let's go ahead and talk to Jenny. Or talk to Jenny. Hey, stranger, I'm Jenny. It's good that you arrived today. Are you, you might have never met me. I'll be leaving town soon. I'm going to live far, far away from here, no matter what Dominic says. Ooh. Who's Dominic? Is Dominic like your brother? Or maybe he's your husband or your or somebody? Ooh, and this must be Dominic over here. So let's see what Dominic has to say. Hi there. So you're the one who bought the house around town. I can imagine you have a lot of work ahead of you. I, 
Still do, and I settled down in this town a year ago. Anyways, great to meet you. Uh, you can call me Dominic. Alright, so hi Dominic. So we met Dominic and it doesn't look like we can really say anything else. And there's little piggoos! Little piggoos. Oh my goodness. I I want the piggies. Can I have you some of your pigs? <laughs> Jenny, since you're moving, can I have your pigs? Excuse me, this is important. Can I have some of your pigs, please? <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't look like we can. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be able to get married to some of the villagers in the game. And there's going to be, I think there's... 10 female and 10 male bachelors and bachelorettes so that's gonna be a lot of fun to do and let's see there's going to be you're gonna to need to be able to tame wild animals so apparently there's going to be wild animals around in this world and you're gonna be able to tame them and we're going to have lots of animals and like pets and friends and oh my goodness there's a dock over here oh my gosh i wonder if boats are gonna like show up over here with like different types of like equipment and things because one of the main features of this game is to actually have your own shop and sell it to um sell it in your actual shop and make money you make money in this game and look at this cute little boat and look there's like there's wood in here and different types of stone it looks like there's some water on the boat too and there's some bottles and it looks like there's different like fruits and vegetables and maybe even some milk in here. So it looks like this boat is like shipping out or just got a shipment of some really interesting goods. And it looks, oh, there's a sailboat over there and it looks like there is a lighthouse. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so right now I'm just kind of exploring. I've never been in this world before, so I'm going to uh, explore all this stuff with you. And there's probably going to need like a couple episodes of just like trying to explore and see what's going on. <gasps> Are we going to be able to go in the lighthouse? Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool if you can go in the lighthouse. <laughs> I want to go in the lighthouse. Um, but in addition to like taming different animals, there is also a fishing system. So I'm assuming over here would be probably a good place to fish. Um, you can also uh, go and catch bugs and harvest different like wild plants and things that you find. And here is another villager, um, Mano Mayomi, Manomi maybe. Um, let's talk to her and. I apologize if I am butchering any of these names. I'm not the best at pronouncing names. Uh, but she says, I remember when I arrived in this town the first time, years ago. A bit overwhelming to meet everyone, isn't it? Well, I won't bother you for too long. If you ever feel like fishing, come back. Come by me and ask for Manomi. Oh my gosh. So she is the fisher lady. <gasps> I wonder if she's going to have some like really interesting fish that we can catch. And I wonder if we're going to be able to, like, do anything special with the fish. Like, can we have our own little, like, tiny fish tanks? Or can we, <laughs> are we going to uh, be able to cook with the fish? <gasps> and look, apple tree! Can we collect any of these apples? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> They're not our apples to collect. But look at that. And what is that? Oranges? Or maybe, oh, there's, uh, there's pears over here. We're going to be able to have pears. And it looks like there's some bees over here, too. Oh, and look, there's a little house over here. Kind of, like little tiny hobbits <laughs> that live in like the side of the mountains oh this is so cool and i'm assuming uh in the future we might be able to explore these little tiny houses which would be a lot of fun to see like how all the other like villagers decorate their houses oh there's so kind there's like all kinds of people over here hello deku deku oh gift deku no i don't want to gift you um <laughs> i don't want to gift you that um let's talk to deku so it looks like we are going to be able to gift them like certain items maybe that we make. Um, but let's talk to him. You see this tooth, Outlander? I took it off a Dekuosaurus back when I was a kid. Just like ya. Yeah. My name is to is a reminder that this old man can catch anything that's lurking down in the ocean. And then cook it. Well, I'll tell ya. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it looks like he is also like a fisherman. I guess this is like the the fishing part of town, which is really cool how they have themes. Um, and let's go and talk to Liam. <gasps> Liam! Liam is my nephew's name. Oh my gosh. My nephew is currently like three years old and he's so adorable. Um, but hello, Liam. Now let's talk to him. Hey, you. Did you just arrive in this town? You must have traveled a long time. Are you hungry? I would be if I were you. My name's Liam. I cook the best fish in town. Well, as long as I don't burn it. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I love how all the villagers... Um, are going to like have their different dialogues and I'm assume um, they're going to have like different stories and maybe you can learn more about them as you continue and play throughout the game. 
Uh, let's take a look over here. Oh, there's a new person. There's somebody new. Let's go ahead and check out this person. Oh, look at her hair. Ooh, I like her hair. That's so fancy. All right, so Abigail, let's talk to her. Look at her. Look how fancy her hair is. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're the new one. I'm Abigail, the town's undertaker. What are you doing in the cemetery already? Hopefully you're not looking for someone. Oh my gosh, are we in the cemetery? We are. I didn't even realize, but we are in the cemetery. Oh my gosh. Um, Daisy and Aster, my love for you can only grow. Oh, that's so sad. And is this like, um, oh, so we're in the cemetery. Is this like a crypt over here or like a church? Looks like it's currently locked. I love the flowers on the ground. That is so pretty. I want to decorate with flowers. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. And then back down there is where the boats were. So let's go and continue this way. Uh, is that a new person? Or is that man o me? Let's see. I think we've already... Yeah, we've already talked to that person. Yeah. Alright, so let's go again to continue. Now to see what else we can find. It looks like there is a lot to explore, which is pretty amazing. For just being a demo version of the game. Um, it looks like there's like a little sewers here. I wonder if you're going to be able to eventually like go down in the sewers for some type of quest or to find something. Can we go over there? It doesn't look like it. Uh, let's go across this bridge area and it looks like, oh, we can go down here and visit this little hobbit house. Ooh, I wonder who lives over here. Knock, knock. <laughs> I wonder if there's going to be like a mail system, kind of like Animal Crossing. <gasps> we can go in the water. We are in the water, but in Animal Crossing, how you can kind of like send mail to your villagers to get like their, uh, <laughs> their relationship up with you. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love these little flowers and there's little lily pads and cactus tails. Ooh, what's in here? <gasps> Ooh, there is an entrance to the sewers. Oh my goodness, that is going to be a thing. We are going to be sewer adventurers one day. I love the little flower on the lily pad though. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the flower on this lily pad? Look at my reflection. <gasps> I have a little reflection in the water. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and what's over here? Okay, so I might be getting a little bit lost, but I'm just going to roll with it, and I'm going to go explore and see. Oh, it's looting. Um, it looks like we are back at our house. Okay, but I think there was more to explore um, as well. So we came from there, and I think we went that way. What's over this way? I want to explore all the things. Um, it does look like there is a... Is there a night and day in cycle? Let's see, we're in spring. Uh... 01 and year 01 so maybe it will get dark and we'll have to go sleep in our house or something let's see we were over there before and i wonder like if we get horses if we can actually ride our horses around town that'd be so fun i want to ride horses <laughs> horses around town uh looks like we have a well here i wonder can i get any water fill watering can did i fill it maybe I might have filled it. I don't really know. I think so. There's water in there now. Okay, <laughs> now we can water things. Uh, this looks like this is going to be a place that you can go visit in the future, uh, but it's kind of blocked off right now, and it is getting nighttime. Hmm. I wonder if we should go to sleep, and then tomorrow uh, we can do another episode and explore the town a little bit more. I definitely think there's a lot more that we haven't seen yet, Especially because we haven't, oh yes, there is a lot more that we haven't seen yet. Especially because we haven't even actually um, got our shop yet. And once we get a shop, we can start putting items in there. And we can sell it to different villagers. Oh my goodness, but I think we're going to work on that in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed the demo of Lullaby Gardens. And make sure you go and check out their info that I'm going to put down in the description below. And let me know what you guys think about this game. This game is so adorable. I am really excited to get animals and to start growing crops. I'm definitely going to be playing a little bit more. I am, I'm excited. I'm happy. This is a happy game. <laughs> happy game. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.